हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स नमस्ते अगेन वी आर कमिंग विद अ न्यू वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द गैस पेपर आंसर राइटिंग एंड आल्सो द जीएस फ्री स्टडी मटेरियल फ्रॉम द साइड ऑफ एस्पायर आई उम्मीद करता हूं आप सबको ये वीडियो बहुत अच्छे लग रहे होंगे आप लोग सीख रहे होंगे एंड अगेन आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग दिस थिंग आपको अगर कुछ भी हम लोगों से चाहिए प्लीज डोंट हैजिटिएट एंड राइट बिलो द फीडबैक Even you can mail us on the below link regarding any type of new things, whatever you want. But we want your support. We want the fire in you, and we want that every day you should learn something good. पढ़ाई के लिए पैसा नहीं चाहिए होता है. पढ़ाई के लिए सिर्फ लगन चाहिए. And I want this lagan in you. For English medium student, studies needs only dedication, fire. Don't need any type of money. If you are having that fire, use this particular type of classes and somehow learn something good. Today we can do that type of topics in which so many people is having the fear regarding the international relations. So many people are referring same type of content for the IR, but they are missing with the analysis. So our IR, all logo ke IR se ek jagah par difference rakhega. The difference is only related to one thing that we are providing you good analysis. So please write down the question first. Discuss the changing significance of O B O R. Discuss the changing significance of O B O R. Critically analyze why India should join. critically analyze why india should join the obor fifteen marker question paper number 2 register number 2 governance paper 11 minutes pause the video try to write some good answer with diagram all the best now let's start the discussion whenever we are moving towards writing the ir some of the prerequisites are there never write prototype answer in the form of points whatever you learned from some notes try to generate some analysis that analysis should have some language even you should draw some diagram even you should put your own way forward in a very good manner and you should also link yourself that you yourself is an diplomat indian foreign service and think in that manner and whatever thing is coming in your mind is a natural thing right without hesitation that nobody is lacking your thoughts no whatever thoughts you can generate is highly appreciable so i r need some type of innovations which i can tell you through this answer first we can discuss what exactly is a obor and why it is good or bad so we can design this particular structure and today i can draw so many things within the diagram first this thing you should write starting should be like this thing that obor is nothing but the manifestation of but the manifestation of 15th century thanka dynasty maritime silk route with ancient road silk route to enhance connectivity and cooperation in 21st century china initiated this policy to generate the market confidence investment even the vacuum which was the result of previous government aggressive policies this should be your starting after that you should talk about the routes the first route is starting from beijing that is a land route then beijing route is moving towards the southern part of china known as xingjiang province Zing Xiang Province. Banate jaiyega. Then one thing is coming to the Myanmar by the name of Khuk Phaya Port. Here they are developing Khuk Phaya Port. 
Then from Zhengxiang, they are moving toward Tibet Autonomous Region by the name of Tibet Railways. And then here they are developing Gwadar and then connecting with the CPEC, China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. Then from here they are moving towards Iran. From Iran they are moving towards Italy. They are moving towards Spain, they are moving towards Netherlands and they are moving towards UK. This is a land route covering the whole Asia, West Asia, even the Europe. The overall maritime route is starting from Shanghai. Then from Shanghai, it is moving towards Singapore, Singapore to Hambantota, Hambantota port. Hambantota port to Khukfayu and in Bangladesh, Ashu Ganj port, Bangladesh, Ashu Ganj port. From here, they are moving towards Gwadar. From Gwadar, they are moving towards Djibouti, in Djibouti, Dora Le, Dora Le port, Djibouti, Dora Le. Then from Djibouti, in Kenya, Mombasa port. And from here, they are moving towards Nigeria and from Nigeria to Atlantic Ocean. This is the oceanic maritime route. And now they are coming with one of the route near to Guangzhou. Pearl River is there, Pearl River. And this Pearl River connecting China with Vietnam, Vietnam to Thailand through Mekong River. So it is a Pearl and Mekong River coordination. This is a new addition in the OBR. Rarely you can find out this thing on the internet. But it was in 2017-18 when China also initiated Inland Waterway as a part of Inland Water Route. This is the overall dimension of OBUR. When this is the overall dimension of OBUR, if you consider this diagram, now see, India is surrounded by both land and the sea power. This is the major hesitation of India. That China is coming into Indian Ocean, even they are surrounding India from all the side in a very, very strategically manner. So this diagram itself can give you the idea. Generally, we are looking on the diagram on the internet that is copy paste. Even in our, there is a booklet, there is a diagram from website only, that is China India website. So try to understand this is the analysis which are coming through this lecture. Kindly appreciate this particular type of analysis which you can put through diagram, even you should put it through your language. Then the second part is coming, why? That is a what? That is a particular type of thing China is doing through this. So this is a very important thing. China is doing this thing for increasing the investment. China also want to develop her west and southern region which is very underdeveloped. This region of China is highly underdeveloped, this one. And that's why China want to develop this thing. Maybe you heard about Uyghur region, Uyghur region. Then China is doing this particular policy of OBR for energy security. Power dominance, power dominance in Indo-Pacific region, power dominance in Indo-Pacific region, countering USA. So these are some of the policy measures by which the China is doing this type of initiative. Under this, what China can do? What China can do? You have to what China can do? China can construct the port. China can construct the port. China can construct the fiber line cables. That means high speed internet. China can also develop SCZ, Spatial Economic Zones. China can also cooperate with other countries regarding the trade. China can also develop infrastructure in the form of energy thermal power plants, wind power plants, etc. All these are the basic components of OBOR. Every component we are described in this booklet, which is free of cost on our website www.aspireis.com. On page number, that is 27, we are providing five pages handout regarding OBOR and India's countering policy regarding OBOR. This is a headline of this booklet. Kindly download it and 100% utilize this is a very good summary of diplomat hindu and so many other newspaper which we are providing to you in your service then another part of this question what world looks upon this policy how it looks like in a macro manner okay this is a china perspective that my policy is for economic development cooperation help but actually what world thought about? The world is talking about this is nothing but new imperialism. China make people and countries subjugated because of their economic and money power. 
and by this thing it is nothing but economic imperialism directly china is not in a condition to colonize any country but through this china can colonize it is nothing but the superpower diplomacy of china to counter usa by this china want to become superpower to become superpower we need three things number diplomacy number two defense and number three economic China already achieved good heights in economics. They are now moving through diplomatic efforts and this is one of the diplomatic effort. And this policy can generate new power blocks. USA on the one side, China, Russia on the other side. That's why world countries are thinking in this manner. Then why India is not the part of this OBUR? Still India is resisting. Now there are so many factors. Factor number one, now factor number one, CPEC, China-Pakistan Economic Corridor which is moving through POK. India is not in a condition to digest. Mujhe hajab nahi hota, mujhe bhi nahi hota, mere land par sa koi or admi parking kare. So India says, without our permission, how you can construct one infrastructure from POK? This is the first objection of India. Number two, India is still confused whether this policy is economic or strategic. China says economic, then why China is deploying their PLA, People Liberation of Army in Dorale? Why China is deploying their army within Sri Lanka? They are saying because of safety of infrastructure. Is safety of infrastructure demand this much amount of army? So this is somehow out of digestion of any country, even we are not in a condition to Maybe you are not digesting why there is a need for army. The another important thing is sovereignty issue. It is the direct hit to sovereignty. Our foreign policy says, Hamara Bharat ka videsh niti keta hai. Our foreign policy says, strategic interest of India is more than economic interest. Hame economy interest se matlab nahi hai if it is the issue of sovereignty. Isle hum iske saath nahi ja rahe. And we are having our own policy. Hamari khud ki policy. We are having our own policy in the form of Mausam. A spice route. Then why we should go with the OBOR? Now the question, which I have asked you, what is the answer? Even after that, why India should join it? In 2019, China organized second Belt Road Forum, in which China again invited India, and India again disappeared. So debate started why India should join. India should join because number one, 21st century belongs to Asia, not to China. That means India should shut out this notion that 21st century belong to China. No, 21st century belong to Asia and it is a part of Asia. And it is a 30 trillion dollar that we should participate. This is the first thing you should write in the UPSC paper and 100% you will get good marks. This is my challenge. Second, political end of older order. World order was guided by Europe, USA. But through this policy, it is an indication that world is now changing towards Asia. And in the Asia support, we should join it. Third, the fund is not provided by China now. Majority of the fund is coming from AIIB and India is also one of the prominent member of AIIB, Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank. Then this is a very important part. Abhi tak logo ko khatra tha that China policy with other nation is unilateral. Unilateral matlab sirf ho. Even China is dominating. No law and there's a procedures. No international rules. But now China in the second forum talks about to adopt multilateralism. India kya adopt kar hai? Sorry, China kya adopt kar hai? Multilateralism. China is adopting multilateralism. And last, supply chain asset Marshall Plan. This policy is now moving towards Marshall Plan. And when any policy is moving towards Marshall Plan, every country can adopt it. Marshall Plan means infrastructure development. Development of others can develop you also. So these are the five points which you can write into examination. This booklet is having all the points with data, read it. And these are the five points which talks about why India should join. Then what is the India's strategy? Now India is a very silent and very, very clever country. Kindly appreciate now. India is now developing here Mundra port. Mundra port as economic plus defense plus JNPT. Now from these two ports, we are developing our own port at Chabahar. Now red line for India, so you distinguish the red line is for India. Now from Chabahar, we are moving towards Caspian Sea. Over Caspian Sea, here is a port Babol, B-A-B-O-L, Babol. Our video rock rock can be sakte hai, sun sakte hai. that is Babol. From Babol, we are moving towards north of Caspian Sea in Russia, Astra Khan, Astra Khan. We are moving towards Astra Khan. Now from Astra Khan, we are moving towards St. Petersburg and Moscow. 
Now one route we are directly taking from Chabahar to Azerbaijan and Azerbaijan to St. Petersburg. This is first route. Iran to Azerbaijan to St. Petersburg. Second route. From Chabahar we are making one road towards Afghanistan by the name of Chabahar Milke Road. Chabahar Milke Road. Now this road we are running to eastern part of Afghanistan. Eastern part of Afghanistan which is west of Pakistan. Known as Jaranj Deleram Road. Jaranj Deleram Road. And this road is ultimately end towards Farakhor. India first outside military base in Tajikistan, Farakhor. This highway is known as North-South Corridor or Garlanded Highway. Its structure is Garland. It is known as Garlanded Highway. Then this highway we are connected informally now from Kazakhstan to Mongolia to Japan and South Korea. South Korea, Japan, Philippines. We recently signed a particular defense ties. Philippines to Indonesia. Indonesia to Singapore, Singapore to again that is a Sri Lanka our strategic partner to Maldives and again to Mundra port. If China is surrounding us like this, we are surrounding China from all the damage. This is India's strategy to counter China. कौन समझाएगा आपको बताइए? Everything is there, but this is an art. Maybe you people are appreciating. If you appreciate, please clap your own. That is a back. Do you learn something good? And kindly comment below it because your motivation is my motivation. After this type of lecture, I need your overall motivation. Some student somehow offer me money by saying, "Sir, you are working We want to pay. I just want one thing from your side: comments. If possible, write some comment whether you liked it or not. That is my real motivation. This is how we will put it in words. India is coming with North-South corridor. When India is coming with North-South corridor, it is a corridor between Iran, Russia and India. PT examination. Iran, Russia and India. Why India is developing this one by one? To counter China. Yes or no? This corridor is countering China. For Eurasia, that means we are linking ourselves with Russia and Eastern Europe. That is known as Eurasia. Our tie with Russia is very good, but economic development is very low because of barriers, geographical barriers. This particular highway link ourselves with Russia. To counter terrorism, terrorism is coming from west. Through this corridor, we can also check terrorism, extremism, drug trafficking, women trafficking, arms trafficking. Sab rok sakte hain. To counter CPEC, hum iske through CPEC upar nazar rakh sakte hain. We can counter the China-Pakistan economic corridor. Even support Baluchistan people if the time demands. We bypass Pakistan. Pakistan restrict our trade to Afghanistan. By this corridor, we can maintain good tie with Afghanistan, which is heart of Asia. And for India's energy security from Central Asia, by this we can make our Central Asia very strong. The three countries of Central Asia border China, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, and we are making China pressurize from the western side. What is the problem? Problem is competition with China. China also want to develop Chabahar port of Iran. Finance problem. India is lacking in finance. USA and their overall ban over Iran. Iran is somehow become a hot spot. India is not in a condition to help Iran because of USA economic sanctions. And that is a development, infrastructure development. India is very poor in infrastructure development. We are affected by time and cost overrun. Conclusion way forward. The world is guiding by changing diplomatic ties. Under these circumstances, India undertook the philosophy of Marshall Plan. Under Marshall Plan, our objective is development, coordination, open regional architecture, support to each other, and we want that Indian Ocean low-hanging fruits can be utilized. by the countries of indian ocean region that's why we came out with the policy of sagar security and growth for all in the region mausam indian ocean rim association as well as cultural ties people to be people ties the evidence came through india's activation in west asia as well as east africa jai hind 
दिस शुड बी द आंसर उम्मीद करता हूं आप सबको अच्छा लगा होगा डोंट शट द वीडियो इवन इट इज लेंदी इंजॉय द लेक्चर बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली यू पीपल आर परचेजिंग सो मेनी कोर्सेज बाई पेंग थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज इफ इट इज फ्री प्लीज डू नॉट इग्नोर इट ट्राई टू टेक मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट दैट गिवस मी अट मोस्ट हैप्पीनेस बिकॉज आई एम अ टीचर आई एम अ मास्टर एंड मास्टर ऑलवेज फीलिंग हैप्पी वेन समबडी इज लर्निंग समथिंग गुड वी आर कमिंग द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन थैंक यू फर्स्ट रिवाइज इट